When the surfaces are modeled in 3D, it is possible to create a 2D expansion for manufacturing purposes. For example, plywood or metal sheet. Rhino offers the possibility to create a 2D expansion directly. So I'm going to join the surfaces all together and then go to the surface menu and unroll a developable surface. There are options to explode the joint surfaces to several pieces and to add labels. Furthermore, if you have markings on the surface, for example holes or other marking curves, you can flatten them also. Now, if I switch to the 2D view, you see that a 2D expansion is created, which can be used for manufacturing purposes. In the example file, you find several expansions which were already made. And if I take a look, for example, in the expansion of the sweep to rails, and the 2D expansion of the loft surfaces, and I zoom in, you see that there are differences which might be important when you manufacture the surfaces. To get more control of the ruling curves when you unroll developable surfaces, there is a lab tool created in Rhino called Developable Surfaces and there is also a link in the blog article to download the lab tool Developable Surfaces. I give a little demonstration of how this tool works. First I pick two rails, for example these two curves and you see that there is now a ruling density which shows the straight curves of this surface. There are a few options, for example the twist tolerance can be defined and here you see that the twist tolerance immediately shows a different result for the ruling curves. So if I allow more twist you see that the surface is different. Then there is this least twist option and I switch back to the shortest twist. Then it's also possible to create an extension. So you see here in the bow area and in the stern area that the curve is extended to a certain extent. When I'm satisfied with the ruling curves, I can switch create surface and I have now the surface and result. If you are more experienced in creating developable hull shape hulls, this might be a valuable tool to make 
manufacturing of these type of hulls more easy. So thank you for watching and I wish you fun in creating your own developable hull shapes.